Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Features. Today, we're going to look at tiling for large jobs in Flexi 19. Firstly, we are going to open up our demonstration file and explain what we would like to achieve. Here is our demonstration file. It is 500 by 175 centimeters and we want to chop this into even sections of one meter in width by 175 centimeters in height to apply to the windows of an office building as shown in the demonstration picture. So let's see how we can tile this job in Flexi 90. Firstly, I also want to create a cut contour around the outside of this file so that I can cut it myself on my cutter rather than having to do it manually. So I'm going to select my entire job, go to effects, contour cut, and apply a simple contour around the outside with zero offset, like so. Now my job is ready to be tiled and sent to production manager. So I'm going to select my job and come to the rip and print interface. Here we can see automatically my job has been tiled by the software. However, it's not appropriate for our workflow today as it is using the entire width of my media and I only want it in sections of one meter. The second tab in rip and print is the paneling tab. Here I can tile my job we can see the layout that it has already chosen. So let's see how we can chop this into one meter sections. Now there are two ways of doing this. You can either manually type in the tile width here, so 100 centimeters, and it will reduce the size of my tile, or I can check to do it by column, like so. So here we see they're in sets of four columns of 125 centimeters, but we want five columns of 100 centimeters. You can also split this horizontally if you prefer. However, we're not going to do that today. You can also set an overlap between your tiles, horizontally and vertically. So here, between my two tiles, there's going to be one centimeter of overlap in the print just so we can make sure that there's plenty of room to apply this job. I've also checked the option here called automatic tile flip. This is important for printers that struggle with color consistency over a long run, and it is going to flip the two tiles next to each other so that the colors are going to be directly flowing into each other rather than any potential differences in color that can come from a long run. So let's go back to the layout tab and see what we have. Here, we see that it is automatically now applied my paneling to my job. And I now have five even sections of one meter by 175 centimeters. So I'm just going to check the hold in list option here. So it won't send straight to my printer. And I'm going to click the send button so we can preview our job in Production Manager. So when I come to my Production Manager, I see that it is loading automatically the job in five sections. And if I double click, the panels are labeled one through five. If I come to my Sumer, the cut jobs have already been finished as well with the same formatting tile one through tile five. Additionally, if this job would only have a cut coming on the left hand side, production manager is automatically going to finish the cut on the right hand side. So we don't have to worry about the fact that our cut contour was only around the outside. Production manager is going to compensate for that, making it very simple and easy for us to tile in Flexi 19. Thank you for joining us for this week's 5 Minute Features 
and please let us know if there's a topic you would like us to cover in this series in the comment section below.